Hello and welcome to our activity for today. Today we'll be using the auxiliary line method to solve any problem that has to do with oblique planes, planes that are inclined both to the vertical and the horizontal planes. So in this method we will actually be solving one um, line of the triangle after the other. For example, these are A1, C1 line. So we'll be solving for the A1, C1 line, getting the true length of this line. And then, of course, we'll do the same for all the other sides. All right, so let's start. Before we start, I want you to observe that I've actually fixed this, um, the values for this point. It wasn't there before in the former um, work I gave you. So you should fix yours. I will give you instructions on what to do uh, on Moodle. All right, so the first thing I have to do to actually, in order to answer this question, is to draw parallel lines to the line that you choose to start from. So I'm choosing to start from line A1, C1. All right, so I'm to draw parallel lines, a parallel line to um, the line A1, C1. Of course, we'll name the line as um, our new X1, Y1. All right, so next, we are to draw perpendicular lines from line from uh, point A1 through the X1, Y1 lines. So, of course, with the ruler, and of course, with your um, pencil, you can use your set square as a guide. You are to draw perpendicular lines through um, from point A1 and as well as perpendicular lines from point C1. To pass through uh, the line, um, the reference line x1, y1. Alright, having done that, the next thing I have to do is to get the length from the plan view. So we are going to get the length from A to the x, y line, which has already been given here as 50 millimeters. So we are getting this length and we are transferring it onto the x1, y1 line. So I've already got mine uh, fixed and ready. So um, I'm placing it, can you see? I'm placing it exactly on X1, Y1. So I have that stated. And then the next thing, we have to pick the length from the plan again, from C to the X, Y line. From C to the X, Y line. So um, I also already have mine ready. So from C, this length, with your divider or your compass, you pick the length and of course um, measure it out right there. All right, next we are to draw a line passing through um, from the, the tip of the lines that we drew on the X1, Y1. So as you can see, I've drawn mine right there. So that line now represents the true length of line A1, C1. All right. So of course you outline it, and of course you can call it a point. That's line point A2, C2. Of course you can name it point A2 and point C2. All right. Naming is very important. All right. Having done that, we have to move over to the other side. Now, from C1, D1, we are also to solve for this. Similarly, we are doing the same thing that we did for um, the first side, that's for A1, C1. We are also to draw parallel lines to this side, which is B1, C1. So, with your ruler, of course, set it quite uh, all uh, rightly. We have to draw parallel lines to B1, C1, just as you've seen me do it there. So that's a parallel line to line B1, C1. It doesn't matter the distance, the, 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 the new reference line, that's the X1 and the Y1 line, you not really um, have to be a certain distance. All right, having done that, of course, you have to name the, um, the side, which is, of course, your new X1, uh, um, your X1, and of course, your your y1 all right 
So having located this, of course you can call this to be your x2, y2. I, mine was x1, y1. The most important thing is for you to understand the concept. Next, after getting that um, uh, reference line x1, y1 again, the next thing you have to do, of course, is to also do exactly what you did for the first one. You have to draw perpendicular lines passing through C1 this time around. Of course, also perpendicular lines passing through B1. All right, so I have to um, clean off some of these values in order to take away any uh, plus that or to cause a um, misunderstanding of what we are doing. So also we have to take the measurement, you see this is a C1, so we are taking the measurement of um, this from C1 to the XY line and we are transferring it here. So um, just as before, I have mine already. So I'm taking the measurement from C to the XY line and I'm placing it on the new reference point which is my um, which is my uh, X1, Y1 the new reference point Right, that doesn't look as if it's uh, exactly what I want so I have to take it up a bit to take it up a bit Okay so, uh, having done that, the next thing we have to take the distance from uh, B to X, Y line, to the X, Y line. Distance from B to the X, Y line, of course. Um, and transfer it, after we've taken that distance with our divider, we transfer it onto the uh, X1, Y1 reference line that is coming from B1 to C1. So we take the distance, I already have mine uh, stuck and ready. So you can see I'm placing it on the X1, the new X1, Y1 reference line. Right, let me just zoom in to get it uh, correctly. All right. Okay, that's good and tidy. All right. Having done that, the, uh, to do exactly what we did for the first one, this time around we are to draw our lines passing through this point. The tip of the line, we are drawing lines passing through those points. Alright, so to do that, of course, your ruler, your compass, I mean your ruler and your pe uh, pencil, draw a line touching the edges. And of course, you have to outline it. Alright. So that you can know that actually that is the true length. So this now represents the true length of a side B1, C1. Of course, we'll name it point B3 and point C3. All right. Having done that, for the other side, it's all the same thing. The same thing all together. And I'm sure you can actually do that. So you can carry that out by yourself by now. Just place a parallel line. Want to take measurement from B to the XY line and of course measurement from A to the XY line. Transfer it onto the uh, perpendicular lines. So it's exactly the same thing. So you can carry that out. Alright, so as you can see, we've actually uh, located the true length of all the sides of this um, lamina, inclined lamina or oblique uh, triangle. We've gotten the true length of line A to C to, gotten the true length of line and B1, C1, which is this one, and we've gotten the true length of line B1, A1, which is of course this A4, B4. Of course, you have to measure the length, and of course, based on the question asked, you have to uh, write out the true length of any of the sides. For example, they can say, uh, what, is the, what was the true length of line AC? So you just write it down there for them. Next, the question also says we should find the true shape of the um, triangle or lamina so what you have to do is to actually um, construct a new triangle using these um, this new length of course to do that quite simply you have to take the true length with your compass i mean take the radius of this length you see this b3 is point b3 all right so you are taking the true length of this side and you are taking it to since this is side B3, you place this side is our C3, and while this one is our B3. So on the C3, 
your compass on a point C that's the compass on C2 you place it on C2 and of course you have to draw an arc you can see that you have to draw an arc draw an arc a sharp edge of the compass on C2 draw uh, with the length of C3 B3 you draw an arc similarly the same thing on this uh, you have to take the length of A4 B4 place it on a um, uh, A2 line of course you are also to draw an arc okay so where this arc meet each other where the arcs meet each other you have to draw your line so as you can see mine that's where they meet you have to draw out your new triangle you have to draw out your new triangle and as you can see here this answers the question of what is the true shape of the um, triangle this answers that of course you have to outline your work to make it look beautiful all right so these are this becomes the true shape of the given triangle you can see it's quite different of course you measure out the sides and of course you show it to them now another question is what is the angle of um, the angle that the lamina makes with the horizontal plane you already answered that question with this the first line so this first line now if you project this first line onto this x y um, x1 y1 line it will actually give you the answer to that question so what you have to do of course you extend your x1 y1 line and then a2 c2 line if you follow um if you, if you draw extend it as you can see me extending mine so where it hits um the x1 y1 line of course that's a trace but then we are asked to get the angle that this plane makes with the um, horizontal plane so this angle now represents your true length this um, angle now represents your true length so you have to measure now as you can see you measure this angle out and of course you state it you write it down for them whatever your angle is you write it out for them and then you state that that's the angle that um, the the lamina makes with the horizontal um, uh, plane all right so with that we've come to the end of this lesson of course you can repeat the video and uh, if you have any uh, misconception just repeat the video everything has been carried out based on the steps all right thank you so much and bye bye